Thank you. Let's go straight across to the candidate from Varli who's gone head to head uh, with uh, uh, the scion of the Thakre family, Aditya Thakre. Milan Deora is with us. Milanji, Namaste. This is Anand here with me, Zakat Jacob, and also Rahul Shiv Shankar. As the dust settles on polling, are you happy with the turnout Hi, in Varli? I, 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 are you smiling or are you pensive? No, I think that the turnout in um, Mumbai, Maharashtra overall has been good. It's been a good turnout and um, um, Verli in many ways is reflective of that turnout. And to be honest, you know, Mumbai ha has always been getting a, fla a flag for how many people come out and vote mm. and different sections vote differently also. Uh, but overall, I would say from a turnout perspective, I'm happy. From a campaign perspective, I'm happy. We ran a constructive, positive, development-oriented campaign. Um, and um, I'm very sure that the, the, the mood in Maharashtra during the Lok Sabha elections and the mood in Maharashtra during the Vidhan Sabha elections, there's a huge difference between the two. And the Mahayuti did a lot of work to, um, to sort of uh, offset any losses and to, um, to, to make up for that with, very, with various initiatives. I mean, not just schemes, but even the fact that to bust fake narratives, even the fact that infrastructure projects which were about to be completed before the Lok Sabha elections but hadn't been completed and got completed between the Lok Sabha elections and the Vidhan Sabha elections also gave citizens the faith and confidence that but, the state is moving forward. But, but Milan, tell me, in Worli, despite this high-profile contest between yourself and Aditya Thakre, the voting percentage we have till 5 p.m. is 47 percent. That is substantially lower than the state average. In Kolaba, where you've lived a, a large part of your life, it was 41 percent. It's probably the lowest in the entire state. What explains that? Let's wait. Let's wait for the final figures to come out. Well, 6 p.m., uh, the data still takes an hour to come out, as you know. So let's wait for the final figures. Sometimes there are booths. I saw a few booths where um, there was a, a line outside the booth until hmm. 6 p.m. So the, obviously the election commission allows people to vote and complete their voting if there's a line so, after Mr. 6 p.m. Mr. Deora. So I think let's wait for the final figures to come out. I think by around by around 7.30 p.m., 8 p.m. is when we'll know the final figures for Worli for Okay. Mumbai, Rahul, just bear with Maharashtra. me for a second. Just one yeah. second. Hold your question. Yeah. Uh, Milanji, we've got three numbers as of now from the pollsters. Chanakya Strategies number is also out. All three of them in varying uh, ranges are giving the government to the Mahayuti. Uh, the, perhaps PMARC is the most uh, you know conservative, which says about 137 to 157. Uh, we've got uh, Matriz, which is saying that it is again 150 to 170 and we've also got uh, now Chanakya strategies which is again saying 150 to 160. Are you happy with these projections? Do they surprise you? Just your thoughts on the numbers and then Rahul will take the next question. Ji. Yeah, No, the, they don't surprise me. Um, I have to be very honest and candid with you. I am and I've, I have a consistent track record for a politician on this issue. Uh, that I am not a big believer in exit polls, um, <laughs> so I don't. I take them with a pinch of salt personally. Indeed. But um, uh, of course, if it's encouraging and it's positive, then one would be happy. We're, we're taking. But them in general, I think beyond just the for the polls, record, there, we're said, taking them with a quintal of salt, no longer a pinch of salt. So uh, just as a <laughs> just just to put it on Good. the record, there, uh, these are not our. First of all, viewers, these are not our exit poll projections. We are being parasitical here, we are taking them from other channels and relaying them to you. But uh, one second, Mr. Deora, you know, I, I just wanted to ask you this question, it's interesting. So uh, you are obviously looking at uh, the turnout as something that might advantage you, number one. Why do you think turnout would advantage you, number one? Number two, uh, do you believe you would be the giant killer of this election? Because if you were to win, yeah. it would be national headlines. This, this really is... And, and would tell the story because, look, I mean, let's suspend belief and accept these numbers. This would suggest that there is a big pro-incumbency in your favor, or at least in the Mahayuti's favor. I think, look, regardless of whether turnout is high or low, um, I think that there is that there was a positive a feeling towards wanting to get Mahayuti back into power. The chief minister certainly enjoys a lot of personal popularity. Uh, for me personally, you know, I have a relationship with this constituency, with the larger South Mumbai constituency. I, I may not be a Whirlikar in the sense I don't, my, my voting doesn't happen in Whirli. So I, you can say for the assembly point of view, I'm not a local, but I live obviously very close by. 
but um, my relationship with this constituency really goes back uh, 55 58 years and um, my late father first fought a municipal corporation seat in 1968 from chandanwadi an area in south mumbai and since then mm. from 1980 in fact he's been fighting we our family has been fighting 11 non stop lok sabha elections the 2024 lok sabha was the first time we didn't fight uh, there was a 12th lok sabha election which we didn't fight otherwise we fought 11 elections cons consecutively mm. Um, so this the, the, the relationship with this constituency really transcends um, power. Um, the, if I win, what would the media call me? That's that I leave that to you. Uh, but but for me, really, you know, even as a Rajya Sabha MP, I will continue to represent people to the best of my abilities. Even a Rajya Sabha MP, in my opinion, has local powers, mm. and um, of course, there's a huge difference between a Rajya Sabha MP and even a Lok Sabha MP. But I really believe that even a Rajya Sabha MP who does technically represent the entire state has the power to serve the people of a local assembly area like Worli. So I am very so, confident that regardless of the result, I will continue to build and maintain ties with the people of Worli. Milan, let me, let me put you in a spot. Uh, so if you win in Worli and become MLA elect, which of the two would you give up? Would you give up your Rajya Sabha seat or would you give up your MLA seat? I don't. I honestly, that's a discussion I'll have within the party. But as I said, that you know, this is, these are things. I it, it, these things happen so fast. One doesn't have time to go into what mm -hmm. if and what if this happens and that happens. You don't really play out these scenarios or have or apply your mind in terms of a decision matrix. Mm -hmm. But as I said, to me, uh, state poli politics, central politics, Lok Sabha MP, Rajya Sabha MP, no power at all. The things for me remain the same. My my relationship with this constituency remains the same. Uh, I wasn't holding public office for a long time. I continue to have a very good relationship Gee. with the people of South Mumbai, of which Worli is a part. All right. So, but as I said, this relationship is something which transcends uh, politics. And, I, you know, I am I'm one of those politicians, which I think there are very few in India, who live in the area where you fight elections from. A lot of people live in one particular area, then they take a train or a plane to another part of the country and then fight elections from there. Um, I, I, what happens in South Mumbai affects me directly, the, the good and the bad. Hmm. So I feel very passionate about that, and I feel very happy that um, that I that that I am part of this community and this constituency. What, what is the confidence level? Let me ask you again, uh, personally, and also all across uh, for for Worli and also for all across Maharashtra. Uh, I know you're trying to be balanced. I know you don't believe in exit polls, but I'm sure there would have been an internal assessment done. Uh, do the exit polls reflect? The kind of confidence, confidence confidence that is good. confidence is confidence is 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 good high not overconfident. Um, I certainly believe what I've seen. Um, the, the the there was certainly um, the the kind of campaign that the alliance ran in the 2024 Lok Sabha elections just six months ago is I mean fundamentally different from different from the campaign that we mm. ran in the Vidhan Sabha elections. Um, far more aggressive, far more, um, uh, you know, consistent in a strategy, far more united, far better coordination between uh, all allies, um, and that and that's largely because of a state election versus the central election. Cent central election you also dependent on the larger national mood. Although Maharashtra did have a different mood as compared to what the national mood was, hmm. and uh, one can say perhaps we we sh we could have localized the Lok Sabha election campaign as well. But in the Vidhan Sabha election, you have the opportunity to do that. You focus right. on local issues. You also divide Maharashtra based on regions. You have a different campaign for Mumbai. You have a different campaign for Vidarb. And I think every box was ticked by the alliance partners in this election. Well, you will not be allowed to be just a Rajya Sabha MP or uh, just an, M uh, an MLA from Worli when the results happen on 23rd Milinji. You know it very, very well. That uh, so, But we will take those questions and uh, on, on result day. 23rd, Saturday evening, we would need your well, time and I'm securing it happens, live on air. What happens you have to in join Worli us will in not stay video. in Worli. <laughs> if, if he wins, what happens in Worli will not stay in Will Worli. not stay in it Worli. Will, it will Th be national news. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. All the very very best to you. Please don't compare Worli to Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's right. going upwards, isn't it? It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's quite glitzy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much.